Good morning to you, saints of God. Praise the Lord. Good morning to you. Amen. Greetings to you behind the bed ministries. Amen. Proper lad birdie with you this morning, yes, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord on this joyous occasion, yes, saints. Another day, another time we get opportunity, saints of God, to fellowship together. Amen. To be on one accord. Amen. To hear what the Lord is saying to his people. Amen. We give him our praise. Give him all the glory this morning, yes, saints of God. Amen. We thank him, saints of God, for everything we have in us. Amen. We honor God, amen, with everything that we have, saints. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord, saints of God, amen. For all you, saints of God, amen, that will be on there this morning here. And those that will be on there later on the replay. Good morning to you, woman of God. We thank the Lord for you, saints, amen. Amen. Praise God. Let's prepare ourselves, saints of God, for our time in the word. Amen. Greet each other, saints, as you come on here. Praise the name of the Lord, saints of God, amen. Amen, amen, saints of God, what a, what a time, what a time, what a time, what a time, saints of God, we're going to have, saints of God, amen. Praise the name of the Lord, saints of God, what a time, saints of God, with no more suffering, with no more pain, amen. No more Satan, no more the devil, amen. Saints, that time is coming, amen. I say that time is coming, Amen. We're not going to have to worry about Satan anymore. Amen. His time of judgment is coming, saints God. Him and all of his, all of his kingdom, saints God. His time is coming. Amen. So praise the Lord, saints God. Let us stay the course. Let us stay the course, saints of God. And stay in this race. Amen. And finish strong. Praise this morning, saints of God. Amen. So we give everyone a, a, a few minutes, saints of God, to come on in this morning here. Amen. Let's go ahead and prepare our song of worship here. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Amen. Thanks, God. We give everybody another moment or two. We're going to jump in our worship saints, God, as we customarily do. Going to jump in our song of worship here, saints. Praise his name, saints of God. Praise his name. One more minute here, saints. So we're going to go right into our worship here, saints of God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, saints. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank him this morning, here, saints. All right, saints of God, let's go ahead and jump right into our song of worship here, saints. Amen.
Father. My heart will follow after you. Thank you, Jesus. My heart will follow after you. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. My soul needs you. Thank you, Jesus. My soul. says God. We breathe them in this morning, says God. We breathe them in this morning. Glory and honor and praise belongs to you, Jesus. We breathe you in this morning. Bless his name, says God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, says God. We thank you, says God, for the atmosphere. We thank you, says God, for the spirit of worship, the spirit of praise in this place this morning, says God. Amen. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Glory to God, we thank you. We glory and honor belongs to you, O oh Lord. Praise his name, says God this morning. Hallelujah. Shikandre, Satundre, Landolo, Sanda. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Ito Sim Kota. Ah, yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Such a sweet presence, thanks to God, as you come out to worship, amen. As you press into the heaven, amen, to bring thine kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. Saints, we thank you this morning, amen, for God opening up the atmosphere this morning. Glory to God. Yes, he ushered, ushered in all the angels. Hallelujah. To our praise and our worship, saints of God, as we were honoring the Lord this morning, saints, the Lord opened up the windows of heaven, saints of God. The atmosphere has changed around us, saints. Yes, I say the atmosphere has changed around us this morning, saints. Amen. Because we pressed in, says God. We dropped our list, says God, of all of our wants and all these things from the Lord we wanted, says God. We just said, Lord, we want your presence this morning. We throw away our list. 
We just put our hands now. We say, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Second and answer, Lord, and answer to God. Saints, the answer to all of our prayers is always in the atmosphere. Yes, the answer to all our prayers is always in the atmosphere. Oh, Sandra, lo sondolo bomba landa. Say that an answer to Many times I'm heavy, says God, my mind is going 100 miles an hour, saints. I just stop, says God, I don't say anything, says God. I just get right into prayer. I don't put no demands on the Lord, says God, I put my hand in the eyes for the praying. Praying the Holy Ghost, says God. Change things, yes, to break things on by off my mind, God, to put me in a place where I'm at peace with the Lord. Amen, God. Says God, we can't do anything without peace. Glory to God. And say we got to be at peace with the Lord. And peace comes, says God, when the atmosphere around us changes. Amen. Secondo, sabandre, lo sondo, le bandre, lo sondo. When your mind is going on my you racing and panting, you're, 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 you're acting frantic. You need to have the peace of God. Glory to God to calm the seas around you. All the chaos water, all the water is trying to break the dam, break the levee, it's trying to overflood your life. The peace of God will calm those seas. Peace be still around you, says God. God wants peace to be still around us. When a man or woman is not at peace with the Lord, says God, then they can't get God's instructions. You see, says God, our mind needs to be calm. Sako, Sinda, Landro, Sondo, Bama, Nama. Where we can get the Lord's instructions, says God. Because nobody wants to proceed forward without the peace of God. That means without the clarity of God in your mind. Yes. Because says, I don't want to go anywhere unless the Spirit of God is taking me somewhere, says God. But I don't want to follow the old trails, the old footsteps I used to walk, says God. Because that's what caused all of my falling down experiences. Yes, God, most of the time it was my own doing, says God. I was doing things and I wasn't hearing from the Lord. Many of us have God have done many things in our lives because we did not hear what God was saying. Amen. But some of us will make God co-sign what we were doing. But the Lord was not the author of that. Yes, and it caused much grief. It caused us much frustration, God. It caused us to slow down our spiritual walk. Yes, it did, says God. That's why it's so imperative that we have peace with God and clarity from the Lord before we proceed forward. But we do anything, says God. We need to have clarity. We need to have understanding. But it comes when you have peace with God. Yes, you calm down. Yes. Stop worrying about this. Stop worrying about that. Stop arguing and stop confessing, making negative things. Stop speaking things that's contrary to the Lord. God has given us peace, says God. Amen. And that peace of God, says God, surpass all understandings. And that peace, says God, have our minds stayed upon Him. Samu, Drela, Sol, Sendo, Londo, Losi, Bama, Drena. Anchor our faith in Him, says God. Anchor our faith in Him, says Glory to God. Our faith is not in our job, not in our bank account, not even with our family, says God. Because your job, your money, your family and friends, they can let you down, says God. Even though they may have tried to help, they may have tried to come through you, but says God. But they, they sometimes can fail us. But the Lord will never fail us, says God. Saints, it's not because your family and friends don't love you. Saints, God, man is flawed. Amen. So men can make a mistake. Yes. A man can be inadequate, says God. They may not have enough to be able to take care of something you take care of, says God. But the Lord always is never short on us, God. The Lord is never short on what He can do for us, says God. Yes. So we ain't got ourselves in Him, says God. Yes. Receive God's peace right now, saints. In the name of Jesus. Peace be still in your spirit, says God. Amen. Peace be still in your spirit. Regain your focus, saints of God. Amen. Gain back the character that God has once placed in you. Yes. Keep your witness for the Lord. 
and say she may need to say it's God sometimes you might even need to apologize it's God yes you want to keep your testimony of the Lord says God because we are the ones that claim to be the children of light right sometimes we overstep our bounds we need to say God say we need to not only repent to the Lord sometimes apologize to people even though, says God, they may, they may have been the ones that may have done the most wrong. But if you are the one that says you are the child of God, then you need to sometimes be the first one to apologize. Because God wants us to maintain our character, says. I say, as I know, it's not always easy. And the Bible says to us, that all will lie within you. We say, live peaceably with all men. Says so we know it's not always easy to live at peace with people who won't war with you. But you can't testify about God's goodness with nobody you at war with. Yes. Reconcile, says God, before you can testify to people. Especially if you walk over uh, your jurisdiction or walk outside of your character or the character that God wants you to have. Sometimes it happens, says God, we miss them all. When that happens, says God, we need to be the first to, first to apologize because we are the children of light. And how can we witness to the darkness if we are a part of the darkness? Amen. God bless you this morning, says God. Maintain your peace, says God. Gain back your posture in the Lord. Amen. Yes. Peace be still in your spirit, saints. I said, peace be still in your spirit, saints. Amen. Regain your focus in the Lord. Praise his name, says God. God bless you. Good morning to everybody, says God. Good morning to you all, saints. Bless you. Amen. Tag someone, says God. Did you like and share this video? Tag someone that you know that needs a word from the Lord, says God. We're getting ready to go and dive into this lesson we had this morning here. Amen. Thank you this morning. Amen. If you have your Bible, says God, let's go into our first scripture verse that we're going to get into this morning. It's going to be St. Saint, uh, Saint John, the first chapter. And that's St. John 1 and 10. St. John 1 and 10. And the title of our lesson this morning is going to be saints, the power to become. The power to become. Sacondre. Ze colon sabandre solo dre la sol. De somon de la co sabandro si. Sobo batabalo sobo mande. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for his presence, saints God. Thank you for his presence. Saints, let's get a Holy Ghost away for offering. Thank you for your presence here this morning. We won't fight against Holy Ghost this morning. We will work with you and not against you, Holy Ghost. Sacondro. We receive the peace from God this morning. Amen. We receive the peace of God this morning. Peace in our spirit. Peace in our mind. Peace in our body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. Sicundana. Sicundana. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Praise his name. Says God. St. John 1 and 10 saints, and it reads. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Verse 11. He came unto his own. And his own received him not. Verse 12. But as many as received him. To them 
to them gave him, uh, I'm sorry, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for a day that was a promise to us, O Lord. But nonetheless, Father, you saw fit to, to keep us alive, God, to keep, Father, breath in our body, Father. We testify this one about your goodness, about your grace, about your mercy, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. And Father God, we speak, Father, life. We speak wisdom and understanding to all through God is born, Lord. We speak right now that they give a listening ear to your words, Father, our Lord. Father, I become against every spirit of slumber that is coming that will fight against them, Father, receiving your word, Lord Jesus. Break all hardness around their hearts, their minds. Give them understanding, Father, right now, Lord. La sundo, la bandro. And let the spirit of obedience, Father, fall upon them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for you today, Father, right now. Use me as you see fit, the Ghost, right now. Sacundo, Lord. Anoint my tongue for such a time as this, Lord. Allow me to speak as an organ of the Lord, rather than the word of truth, Lord Jesus. Father, right now, Lord, I don't know I'm standing, Father, got much notes, Lord. Give me clarity, Father. Speak to me, Father, even things that's not on, Father, right now, that's on this, this notes that I have, Father, right now. Give me clarity, Father, from on high, Father. Give me insights and revelations, Father, concerning your word, Father, right now. Allow me to be a blessed body of Christ this morning, Lord. And Father, I thank you, Father, our Lord. We are seated together, Father, in places inside Christ Jesus. Far above all principalities, powers, and might, Father. I thank you, Father, for the covenant's pace, coming with God in the press blood of Jesus Christ, Father. Put a wall of fire around us, Father, our Lord. Dead us from seen and unseen things, Father, our Lord. Whatever fiery darts, whatever hex of vex and witchcraft curses that were sent against us, people of God, in this pace, Father, may they return back to sin, Father, right now, Lord. And Father, right now, Lord, may they overwhelm my enemy, Father. May, Father, right now, we be lifted up far above our enemies, Father. Our lives are hidden inside you, O Lord. Thank you, Father, right now. We give you all the glory, the honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you this morning, saints of God. The power to become. Sakonde. Saints, the power to become. So St. John chapter 1 verse 10 says, God, He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Saints, when Christ was on the earth, many people saw him and heard him speak, but they never knew him. Saints, just like us, saints of God, there may have been people, saints of God, that you may have worked with saints of God, at your job, but you were never friends with them. Saints, you can see a person every day, says God. You can hear a person talk. You can be around, says God, but not really know them. Saints, we know that Christ went everywhere. Yes, he is, God, all around Jerusalem. All around the town of Jerusalem, everywhere. Many heard him speak, says of God. Many saw him, but they never knew him. Yes, just like people in your job, says God, you may work with for years, but you don't know them outside of work. You don't know them, you don't know about their family and friends. Now you know where they live at. But y'all work together. You see them every day, right? But you don't formally know them. Amen. So says we know that's how it is. Just because you see somebody's God, just because you may have crossed paths with somebody, but you may see them every day, but doesn't mean you probably know them. Amen? So we have to make sure we understand this as God. You can see God. All right? You can see God. You can hear Him speak, speak to you, speak around you, but still not yet know Him. Like people at your jobs, God, will see you every day at, at work, but you don't probably know them, or they don't probably know you. So seeing and hearing doesn't mean you know or doesn't mean you have a relationship with somebody. Do what I'm saying to saints, God. Let's keep going. So verse 11 says, saints. He came unto his own and his own received him not. Here we go, says God. So Christ, Christ spoke the word to his own people, but they received him not. Says you can't make someone want to receive you. They can hear what you are saying, 
but filter out everything that you have said. So seeing and hearing doesn't mean you receive. Doesn't mean you agree with people. You understand that just God. Say, let's go again. Some of your co-workers and even some of your family members know that you are a man of God or a woman of God, but they don't receive you. You see. Saints, we understand this is God. This is how things work. You can speak to people every day. Do everything you can. Show them everything that God has placed in you. Christ spoke everything. Christ poured himself out as a drink offering to the people. But still, says God, many still did not receive him. Just like you, says God, you can live as a child of God. Be a man of God, be a woman of God around your co-workers, around your family and friends. But it still does not mean, says God, that they will receive you. Hearing and seeing does not mean you receive. As you know, says God, as I said again, you can speak, you can do everything you're supposed to do, as Christ did, right? But still yet, his own people did not receive him, right? Heard him, saw him. But did not receive him. Because you know, says God, one thing about receiving somebody, one of the one of the ways you receive somebody is also when you honor them. And most times the people that you honor, you receive. You respect the people that you listen to, right? Alright? So some say God, some aren't going to respect you. Not because you did anything wrong, but it's because of what you represent. And when Christ went back to his own home, his own time, they did not receive him because they did not what? honor him. So saints, many don't realize, says God, when they are fighting against you, that they are actually fighting against the Lord. Some of us, says God, some people, says God, they have fought against us, don't understand. We are the only Jesus that they are going to see. You see? So, if you speak, they're thinking they're going to they're gonna see somebody else, or Christ going to come, knock on their door, and get them a, a visitation and come and sit down in their front room. I'm not saying Christ can't do it because the Lord can show up to anybody. But there are many people who say, God, that you or I are going to be the only Jesus that they see. You see? So when they don't receive you, then they don't receive the Lord. So they're not fighting against you, says God. They're fighting against God. So thanks. The spirit that's in this world will always fight against Christ. So don't fret, says God. Don't be confused. Don't be dismayed. Because that is the spirit of the world that's fighting you. You see? And the people that are around us, even our family a lot of times, they are caught up with the spirit of the world. So they're not going to receive you. Amen? And so we have to understand this and not put a, another face on the devil. The devil is who he is. All right. The Bible calls the prince of the power of the air. Amen. And that's what's controlling this society right now. Okay. His spirit, his essence. All right. The spirit of the Christ has already been here. All right. It was here when Paul, when Paul was preaching. You understood? So thanks. The spirit that's in the world, God, will never lead anyone toward the light. You see, there's no way that the spirit of this world will lead anybody toward the light of the Lord. It's not going to do it because it's not its design. It's not going to lead you to the world. So with that being said, says God, the more time that you spend being influenced by the world, a person will become used to the darkness. You see? That's one of the things that the spirit of the world will do to you. The longer you are influenced by it, by the spirit of the world, saints, it will make you accustomed to the darkness. Yes, you will get used to it. It won't bother you anymore. You have to be very, very, very careful. On how you allow the world to influence you. You see? Because the more you spend time in this guy, it's going to start to change you. Yes, it will. 
So we got to be aware of these things. That these, these are the little subtle things in our lives. Make sure your spiritual barometer does not change. So says God, you should be thrown off when you hear somebody cuss. When you hear somebody say a dirty joke, you should be thrown off by that and not want to hear that. But some saints of God, we have came to a place now. Well, you know, that's how so and so is. You just got to get used to them. They're, they're still good people. And you have person say that. You should never get used to hearing that, God. Yes. You should never, God, want to be around that kind of stuff. Or around people who talk like that. But the longer you are around them, says God, and you don't watch yourself, God, you will start to make excuses for them. You see? That's what we say about our family and our friends. When they come around us, they cuss up us and have they lick and drink and do all these things. Well, that's how so-and-so is. Well, that don't mean so-and-so got to be around you. But you have to be careful because that darkness will influence you, says God. Yes, you tongue-talking man of God or woman of God. If you are not careful, you can talk in tongues all you want to. But if you don't sit there and make a standard for yourself, then the darkness also will influence you. Yes. Holy Ghost feel or not. Don't think you are exempt from being from being influenced by darkness. Amen. So saints, just like Christ, many of our own family and friends may not receive us either. So saints, with that being said, we can't allow ourselves to be offended. We got to keep pushing forward. Yes, don't be offended by them. Yes, it's God. they may say things that's unseen to you, says God, but keep it moving. Don't allow them to offend you because that's what Satan will use those close to you to offend you, wound you. Yes, co-workers on a job. Yes, friends or family, whatever, man. people you spend more time around. Yes, Satan can use them to wound you if you are not careful. Don't allow yourself to be offended by them. Because you know that's the spirit of the world that's maneuvering in them to use it, to use them to get you if you're not careful. But you have to lay a godly standard the first time you have a conversation with those family, those friends, with those coworkers. Lay the foundation of what you are going to stand for. Because a lot of times in God, we don't do that. So then they don't respect the Lord in us because we don't demand them to. So then they talk to us all kind of ways, say things to us, offer us things they shouldn't offer a child of God, and, and come to you with dirty ass jokes. Nobody, nobody around my family, my friends, uh, co-workers, know that I don't play those things. They don't come to me. They don't even, they don't even thought in their mind to come to me say these things, or to cuss around me, or to act, off me liquor or beer, because the standard is so strong that I set for my life around these people, and I don't compromise with them. But you can't do it the third or fourth time. I said, tried you. You got to do it the first time. You see, that's why a lot of us get in issues. Because we don't set the standard on day one and demand that folks understand who you are. Make them respect the Holy Ghost in you. If they don't, they can depart from you. We ain't got to be friends. Even though we're family, don't mean we got to hang out. Don't mean I don't love you if I'm kind of separated from you. But I can't be impartial with that stuff there. You see? So, because I have to keep my testimony of the Lord. Regardless of what you say. Regardless if you don't like me. Regardless if you say, I think I'm better than you. Yes, they say words like they say to wound you. Make you question yourself. Wait, am I acting suck up? Saints don't receive what they're saying. They're going to say all things that kind of wound you, to offend you. Don't question Don't question what you show them. It's better if you show them Jesus the first time. Keep it pushing, says God. And keep on doing what God has told you to do. Just keep going, says God. He came unto his own, says God, and his own received him not. We are no different, says God. Yes. Many aren't going to receive us either. Because of what God has done in our lives. Our lives have been transformed, says God. But many aren't going to celebrate with you, says God. They're going to find ways to have fault with you. You have to recognize these things. They are going to talk to you a lot of time with a four of tongues, says God. Talk to you and question you being saved. Don't be surprised, says God. And you don't have to answer silly and stupid questions 
that you already have the answer. Many of them don't say God, they don't want to answer. They want to argue with you. They want to pull you out of your character. You know what I'm saying, God? So keep it pushing and keep exemplifying the character that God has already told you to carry. Amen? Verse 12 says, God. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So saints, as we receive Christ as our Lord and Savior, he gives us the power to become his children. Two saints, the power to become only happens when a person receives Christ, not just has a belief in a certain denomination, but has a sincere relationship with the Lord. Many times, God, I, I, I hear many people, they, they highly esteem their certain <laughs> denominations, God. Saints, there is no particular power to become anything in a certain denomination. No. It is only in Christ that you and I have the power to become His children. To become that woman of God. To become that man of God. It only resides in Christ. But we have to not just have a belief. We have to receive. Amen. Receive Christ. That means hear it. Many people of God never became who God wanted to be. Because they never received him. You see. It's in the receiving. That you gain the power to become. Glory to God. Don't rely on your denomination or how long your family has been in this church or this nonsense or that nonsense. It's only in Christ that you can become his child. Glory to God. Don't rely on your denomination. Don't highly esteem these things ahead of the word of God. And that's the problem that I've seen since God. Me being in, 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 in says God, in the previous denominations, God, I've, I've heard these things coming up. And I didn't catch everything. But a lot of the older saints, God, some of them have, have had, they, they were caught in a snap. Highly esteemed their denomination. Even put up alongside the word of God. Push it too far. Yes, says God, I may have a certain inclination to a certain denomination. But I cannot put that denomination higher than the word of God. Higher than Christ himself. Yes, you may have came from that church, this church, that church. But that church did not save you. It was only in you receiving Christ as your Lord and Savior. That gave you the power to become. So saints, it is only in Christ that a former crackhead, a former prostitute, a former liar, a former thief, a former inmate receives the power to become what God wants you to be. Only in Christ. And God knows what he wants you or I to become. Yes, we become his children, God. But that is only the beginning. When you receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yes, you become his daughter. Yes, you become his son. But that is just the first part. There's going to be another transformation later on to come. In the name of Jesus. But that's the start of the power to become. So saints, many that are outside of Christ don't understand this blessing that the Lord gave freely to each person. It is a blessing, says God, to get the power to become. It is a blessing from the Lord. Yes, indeed, says God. He is the one that gives us the power. It is a blessing to receive this power from the Lord. Says so again, God. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. As many as received him, not heard him. You can hear something, but still not receive something. It's not in the Hearing is in actually the receiving, the applying, the walking this thing out. The thing that I believe, 
I can't stay on belief. The Bible says even the demons believe, but they don't serve the Lord. They believe who he is, but they don't apply it. It is receiving means you apply it. That means I put foot to pavement. I walk out my faith by serving the Lord. That means I received him, not just heard him. I applied what he said. And then the transformation came after the receiving. And that's when I gave the power to become. Free gift that God gives us. Comes along with salvation. The power to become everything and anything that God wants you to be. Saints, people keep saying, oh, I need to change my life and stop doing this and stop doing that. We have folks say all the time, I got to make some changes in my life. This, that, this and that. They say it a lot, says God. Saints, we may stop doing those certain things for a little while, but then those things come back worse. Why is that sense, God? Saints, we have no power to become the best version of ourselves without the Lord's help. You have no power to become, saints God, the best version of yourselves outside of the help of the Lord. Yes. So you will always say those certain things. I need to do this. I do that. Those things will always be in your mind. But you cannot be that person that God wants you to be outside of the power of the Lord. Yes. The power of to become is only when you receive the Lord. Not just hear him speak. Many heard him back in Nazareth. They heard him speak. They heard him preach. But they did not receive him. Many folks on your job know you're a child of God. People in your family know you're a child of God. But they still don't receive you. Yes. They stay outside the context of God. Because they don't receive you. When you don't receive the Lord's God, you will never become the best version of yourself. You will always say, shoulda, woulda, coulda. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Still talking and never doing anything for God's goodness. We got to allow the transformation power of God to do his work in our lives. We have no powers, God. No power in ourselves. Nothing with any kind of sustainability to be that best version of ourselves. We don't have it. We are not capable of it, says God. That's why you'll, make, you'll take two good steps forward and take 20 backwards. That's why we can't do with the strength of man, with our intellect, with part of thinking, those things are nonsense without God there. I'm not saying you don't need to think positive, but that has to be applied after the Word of God. The Word of God that gives you sustainability, the power of God that gives you the ability to become. You think positive and think with, 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 with good understanding and use common sense after you receive the Lord. You see, those things are good, but they are nothing by themselves. You got to have God's transmission power in your life to become who God wants you to be. Secondra. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You see? See, he didn't say a belief. It says, believe on his name. It made specific who I'm talking about. Believe in his name. Belief in his name. Believing in his name. So you have to apply, says God, the principles of God, all right? To really get the transformation that God wants to occur in your life. That is the power to become. It is when you receive him. Yes. And apply what the Lord is saying in your life. That is when you will see that the of God's power work in you. That's when that crackhead, that prostitute, 
that lie, that thief, that dope thief changes their lives and becomes the best version of themselves. Almost finished this, God. Last verse. It says, turn uh, to Ephesians 2 and 1. Says, God, almost finished. Ephesians 2 and 1 says, Ephesians 2 and 1, saints. Let's go ahead and finish up real quick here, saints. Thank you, Lord. And it reads, saints, God. And ye has he quickened. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. So saints. So. Apostle Paul says. In verse in 2 and 1 says. And he has he quickened. So what does that mean to God? So it says quicken means to give life to. You see. So saints. The Lord quickened us. Or gave life to us. Yes. So it's God, but we're not talking about such God back in Genesis, the, the initial life. So God, this here is, God, is the life of second chances. That means the resurrected life. Amen. The life after death, the, the being brought back to death. So it says, and ye has he quickened who were dead in trespass and in sins. We had a spiritual death and we need to be quickened or brought back to life. So saints, we were once dead in our sins and our trespasses, but God gave us a new life and the power to become in that new life. You see, says God, see our former life, the Bible says we were on the road to damnation. Yes, the road to judgment. Yes, that was the previous life that we had. But when we were quickened, Brought back to life. That means the Bible says, uh, says uh, back in, uh, in First Samuel, it says, uh, when uh, he, uh, uh, the prophet Samuel told uh, King Saul, he said, the "Spirit of God, fill up, he said, the Spirit of God shall fall upon you, and you shall become a new man, and with a new heart." So, saints, the Spirit of God fell upon uh, 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 King Saul when he was just Saul at the time. Became King Saul, it transformed, made him a new man. But it also, it also gave him a new heart. You can turn to says God, but it also gave him a new heart. So it says God, that's why once our, we once had an old calloused heart, a stiff necked heart. We were arrogant, full of pride, and we didn't have the love that we need to have. God, but we were quickened by his spirit and brought back out from our death and trespasses against the Lord. We got a new spirit, a new heart in us, God. So that will allow us now to follow God now. Not only to follow God, but chase after God. And that's when we got the power to become whoever God called us to be. Yes, you are a daughter of God. Yes, you are a son of God. But there is another call to make me It could be evangelist. It could be prophet. It could be apostle. It could be intercessor. It could be power warrior. But those are the power to become. That happens after you receive. So we were dead in our sins, in our trespasses and God gave us a second chance reverend us back from the dead those that were dead in their sins and their trespasses and their violations we had the symptoms of just judgment against us but God brought us back and gave us the power to become saints this new life will allow us to become the best version of ourselves so that our lives would influence others to seek after Christ. We're not saved. We have not been resurrected from the dead for nothing. Not for us to pump our chest and be full of pride. We are saved now to influence others to chase after God and get that same experience to become the best version of themselves. Glory to God. Change. We all need this resurrection power. Yes. But it happens after you receive from the Lord. And when you receive from the Lord, you then get the power 
to become. Whatever it is God wants you to be. You will get that power after you receive from the Lord. Everybody needs to become the best version of themselves. Your current, current, your current life, God, is not in God's compliance. We have to get our lives resurrection. Have our spirit quickened, brought back from the dead. Our mind resuscitated, transformed, reprogrammed, reformatted, brought back to life by God's power. Glory to God. The power to become is available to anybody that receives from the Lord. Not just hear him. Not just have a understanding. Oh I've been to church before. But have you experienced Jesus before? If you have. Then you receive the power. To become whoever God wants you to be. God wants us to influence others. Thanks God. As I said earlier. Because we, says God, sometimes we'll be the only Christ that they will be able to see. That's why we need to become who God wants us to be. We need to become that, God. We need to change so that others will see God on us and they can become who God wants them to be. There is a better version of themselves, says God, but they don't know it. You see? That's how it is when you are outside the will of God. You keep saying, I need to do this. I need to change. I got to do this better. You don't have the wherewithal to carry it out. Even if you do change some things, you'll, you'll go switch to something else worse. Like maybe it was a guy, they'll stop smoking. Then they start drinking. If they ain't drinking, they smoking. So they go from one addiction to another addiction. You see? The spirits just change. But you are still driven to do the walk in darkness. You still have not become the best version of yourselves. This is what happens, says God, when you do things by man's strength, by man's hands. Go and seek secular counseling, like people do. There is no sustainability. That's why they give you pills all the time and stuff. See, to mask the problem, you have not gotten any deliverance. So that stronghold has not been broken. You see, that's why the resurrection of power of God. We need to have our spirits need to be quickened. Yes, as you said, it says it. Those who were dead in their sins and trespasses, strictly we were dead. We were marked for death. Yes, lost as God without any hope. Yes, we had no power to become the best version of ourselves. We could not be a child of God then, because we were marked for death. So not in just the hearing saints you got to receive just like us preachers we can give we can do the best that we can for God's people but if God people don't receive what God gives to us then they will lose the power to become saints many of y'all know that I follow my ministry and many of y'all have went through our, our, our school deliverance and many of y'all have became deliverance ministers now You've received that power to cast out devils, to pray with sin. You became that when you received the teaching, right? You see, this is just a, a small illustration of the power to become something else. Yes, to become a game changer. There's different things that you can become as you stay in God's grace. Amen? Yes. So, the, but the first thing is you become the better version of yourself. That's the first thing happens when you get your life transformed. Amen. But then there's more things that you are going to become as you say in the Lord. Become is not just one thing. Amen. It is more things as you stay in Christ. Because there's so much more in store, in store for you saints. But it's only in Jesus. Amen. Pull away from all the thoughts and all the cares of the world. That, that bombards our minds so much. So God doesn't have place, you know, room to speak to us about being transformed or about becoming another version of yourself. We don't get no struggle because our mind is so clouded by us chasing things in the world. Our mind is so preoccupied with those things that the enemy is good at those distraction, the distractionary measures 
by, by our family, our friends, our children, the job. They, the enemy knows how to distract us with all of those things. And sometimes these people don't know that they are being used by Satan to distract us. We have to understand who it is. We have to understand. We have to discern these things, says God. And say no to some of this stuff. We do. Because if we don't, God, we will never become the best person of ourselves. We will never transform our life like God wanted us to be. If you don't push back on certain things. That's blocking us. That's stopping us from becoming that. You see. You don't know what else God wants you to be. There is so much more in you, saints of God. So we got to stay in the Lord. We got to stay in the Lord. Yes. And dig deeper in Him. And receive the Lord's instructions. And receive what He's trying to give you to His sent vessels. The teachings that you receive. Not just hear them to God, but apply them. That's when the power comes. The transformation comes in the receiving. Not just hearing. Got to receive and apply it. Yes. Let God use you, says God, to influence others. To come out to Him. So they won't keep living in the land of shoulda, woulda, coulda. Place of excuses. It's more for them as it is more for you in the Lord's sense. God has freely given us the power to become. It's a free gift given to us from the Lord's sense. Yes. Become the best version of yourself from the lower saints. Become that. And allow your life to influence countless others to come out of Jesus. You don't understand the influence that you have. And some of us not going to know until we go to heaven. We're not going to know all, always all the souls you may have touched. Either directly or indirectly. You're not going to know that. But what you want to do is just become the best for yourself. So whatever influence God wants you to have, you'll be able to tap into it. Amen. Yes. Be used for God's glory, says God. And don't allow these distractions to overtake you anymore, saints. Shut down these things. Things that are stopping you from becoming what God wants you to be. Amen. Let us pray, saints. God, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father, right now, Father, for giving me this word, Lord Jesus. I spoke what you told me to speak to your people today, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father, to receive every morsel from your word, Lord Jesus. Let no one fight, Father, against this word, Father. Let all your children, Father, receive this word, Father. Those that's only alive and those who are going to reap it, Lord Jesus. Bless the hearers and the doers of your word, Lord Jesus. Allow them to understand, Father, right now, Lord. This word, Lord Jesus. Father, right now, the seriousness, Father, of having a transformed life. But allow themselves to be used by you, O oh Lord. Give each person a revelation of what that means, Father. Allow their lives, Father, to be transformed to your image, Father. Yes, Father, right now. Quicken their spirits, Father, those, Father, they may be lukewarm, Father, right now, Lord. Or confused, Father, or lazy spiritually, Father, right now. Quicken their spirits, Father, right now, Lord. Speak to them, Father. Breathe new life in them, Father. Breathe new peace. Understanding in their lives, Father, right now, Lord. Touch them, Father, right now, Lord. Allow them to be the best of honor, Father, right now, Lord. Use them, Father, to your glory, Lord Jesus. Allow them, Father, right now, Father, to be that the influence that you want them to have, Father, right now, Lord. Allow them, Father, to take you with them, Father, no matter where they go at, Father, right now. They will not take down as well, light with them, Father. Bless them, Father, right now, Lord. Those who are right now, Father, those who are later on, Father. Seal this word, Father. Seal these instructions in their spirit, Father, right now, Lord. Allow them to walk forward, Father, right now, and chew on this word, Father, right now, Lord. And gain grace and gain wisdom in you, Father. We thank you, Father. Give you all the glory, the honor, and praise. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, saints of God. Bless you, saints. Like and share this video to us, God, to all those who you know need a word from the Lord, saints. Share them. Share as many as you can, saints of God, in your pages. 
because we need to become the best version of ourselves as God. Yes. And keep allowing God to change us, transform us, to become that next person, to walk in that next level of anointing, that next level of anointing, to become this, to become that, to become this, to become that. See? Because there are many hands the Lord can allow us to allow us to be able to maneuver in, and we can become that. Yes. There are many times I, 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 I was evangelist. I was, I was a pastor. And y'all know I'm a prophet and teacher. But I have a sock apostles. That, that, that's in my life. See, these different things that God allows me to become whatever the demand needs me to be. I'm able to tap into these things to become that as God be necessary. You see? And this is what that means to God. There are many different things that God may want you to become a certain time or place. Yes. Or a certain account you have with a certain person. I need this version from you. That version. No, I need this version from you. No, I need that version from you. To become that. To become whatever the demand needs you to be. That's what it is, says God. You don't want to limit God by our ignorance, by our lukewarmness, or by our lethargic attitude. We fight against becoming what God wants us to be. And I have met many people, says God, that. That I say they love Jesus Christ, but they are content in where they're at. Saying there's some Christians that God I know that will not be stretched. Because they've been saved for a while. And they're used to walking in a certain genre or a certain way. And they don't they don't believe there's another version of them. Now they won't say it at their mouth, but I feel them in the spirit. They're fighting me when I'm when I when I when I taught certain lessons. Yes, I've been in churches, I've been online, and I've also been and live churches, I, I feel them in the spirit fighting me. It's because they are content in who they currently are. They don't think that they can become something else. Yes, you can become whatever God wants you to be. You see? But many of us just have been in a certain mindset for so long. And we're used to it. We're comfortable in that capacity. But there is more in you. More in your capacity to become something else as God be necessary. Yes, you may have been that for such a time. God said, there is something else I want you to come to. Just receive, says God. And don't let religious spirits also hinder you from becoming. Anybody need prayer for healing or deliverance, says God? Since as y'all know, y'all go to my website and leave a detailed message. www.behindthevelmission.org www.behindthevelmission.org We have still time to pray for you, thanks God. And I want to thank everybody again for the birthday shout-outs. For you sees all those who is giving me a shout-out and prayers. Thank the Lord for you, thanks God. Amen. Much love to you, thanks God. Appreciate everybody says God. Everybody support this ministry. For all your prayers and support. This ministry wouldn't be the same without you, says God. Thank God for your, your prayers and, and your support, says God. It's much needed. And uh, I, I much love and respect to all you saints. Just be encouraged. Says y'all know I'm here if y'all need me, says God. Keep pushing, says God. And allow God to make you the best version of yourself. Amen. And become what God wants you to come. Amen. And don't just say, is this one area? No. Don't limit the Lord. Amen. Don't limit the Holy Ghost to you. Right? You must love to you, says God. And it's probably that very behind that mistress. We here brand bricks the kingdom of God. Have, have been the afternoon, says God. And I'll see you again come Wednesday at 7.30. Take care, saints. Bye-bye.